So uh, today uh, we're going to the modify uh, business booster theme. So uh, we're going to review uh, this uh, theme by Phoenix. So it has a modern design with responsive layout and typically it can be used for business purposes. Okay, uh, so you can download from here. The latest version is 1.0.9. So uh, it has a uh, top bar with contact like in the email and phone number, uh, social links uh, in the right top and a cool menu uh, in the top right corner so we have the logo and the um, title of the website so some um, background parallax effect so some features so to showcase your uh, content and, and your experience and your projects done something like that your team and your portfolios or news of blog can be showcased here and you can have a uh, call to action link and that's the footer with three column visit and uh, most bottom footer with social icons and copyright okay that's it so it looks great for any corporate business uh, organization and it's completely free and it's on the wordpress.org repository so let's get started so first of all we go to the dashboard and inside dashboard uh, we go to the appearance and themes so from here we can add the theme so it's a business booster so that's it so it's the theme okay so we can preview from here so i'll just install it so it will take few seconds okay that's it it's ready now activate the theme so we can see the first view of the theme so it looks somehow uh, okay so first of all we need to go to the customize so from here uh, we can change the logo of the website so I'll just check everything is fine so logo on the left so next is the title of the business Okay, business booster, just another WordPress uh, statement. Okay, you can you can use an fab icon, and the next is the header section, so call to action. So we can enable header call to action sections. So where is okay? So call to us level one. Okay, something something. So we will have the call to us in the top and email section in the top. We can enable it. <coughs> email us. Okay, demoify at gmail.com. So that's, that's great. I'm not sure why it is coming down. Okay, as you can see in the original demo, we have someone like that. Uh, okay, so so let's see in a follow us section. So follow us. Follow us. I can enable the Facebook link. Okay, I'll just put a hash. Okay, Twitter link. I'll just put a hash. You can put a, your own link here. So I'll just put a hash. Google Plus, so that's that will be fine. Uh, I don't think so. I will need more links. Okay, that's it. So, uh, and the next section is banner section. So we can enable the banner section. So we can add a banner.
Okay, I'm not sure the what the exact size of this banner. So where is this banner? Okay, I'm okay. So let's have some heading. Okay, maybe and uh, it's due to the home page setting so I'll go first to the home page setting so still it's not working okay let me do some changes A new section okay first of all I'll just till now I'll save it and go to the okay go to the dashboard so for so I'll create a page home page okay home page some home content goes here blah 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 blah, blah, blah and we can have a front page here okay that's it so we can e include uh, some feature image for home page okay we can publish here from here okay so we can see okay yes it's working fine okay that's a great great so we just need to go to the appearance uh, so okay we can go to the customize section okay let's go customize and we need to set up the home page so to do that we need to go to the, the home page setting and here we can simply add to the home page now it looks great okay now it's working yeah home page home page okay that's great so now move on to the uh, so I think in you know, this logo it doesn't look good so I'll just remove the logo and simply to modify again okay. okay banner section it's working fine and the next one is service section so you can enable service on now we have a service heading a small heading in okay main heading okay some description or service description okay Service section and the sample piece means okay, that's a service section. Okay, I think it's really working fine and it's really working great and okay um what is our this bottom button or okay. mm. mm. sorry visit us a uh, link should be here I'm not sure okay, let me check out the original demo so there is a lot of great good icons okay mm -hmm.
making out good to the service section is fine okay and the next is counter section okay so I'll enable it and I will use the background image to this one okay let me check I already used it in here so I'll just change to this one okay and now we can have a small heading small heading so some main heading okay some content goes here and button text okay contact and the link so and the link so now we can see the counter section is working fine so now the counter section that right so counter number something like four or five counter number text and I'll get rejects and I can something number okay customers okay something counts okay code lines okay so we can see yes it's great yeah it's working really really amazing okay till now so now we go to the team members area so we have team member section so we enable the team member section and we have a team member small main and so small main and description goes here okay now the team number one okay team number two and team number three that's it okay now we have the team members okay one two three so as you can see there is no pictures and as compared to the uh, yeah, in the original demo we have the images so we need to you know, put a feature image to the that post and it will be enabled so let publish to this till now and now we can create a page with Mm, team member okay okay I'll just copy this image from here to here now I can use in the feature image okay it's in desktop so I'll just use this so let's select it put in some text about the team member and let's go to the our customized page and now we can have okay I'll just close it and we can go to the home page so till now we have this much things now we can customize it So team member sections we can change this base link to team member okay now we have team member yes yes it's really looks cool okay that's how the things is done okay great uh, till now we are doing great and so now it's a new section we can enable we can use some background okay I'll just use once again this one okay this is small heading that's a main heading and some description okay so we have this section again mm -hmm. Some heading and some call to actions link. So 
so alternately we can change the header image and background image okay uh, we can add a menu so we you know, the theme supports only one menu that is top menu and the, that's primary menu okay we can add things like home team member home page sample page or we can add a custom links us. we can replace this one with a custom contact us page now we have the menu in the top as you can see so when you can use the drop uh, you can use the menu like drop down okay that's great yeah it's working fine so I'll just keep it okay fine now next is the visit so we have home page new section so here we can have recent post okay, post recent post or oh, it has a inbuilt support for business booster recent post visits that's really cool okay that's great and we can use all categories okay number of posts we can have fine just fine now so as we all just have one post so it will not bring a rest post okay that's great okay so that we are getting a lot of features in the wordpress theme okay for the section one two three four five six we have almost six footer sections so i'll just mm, check the with calendar so here we have the footer section first and for the section two mm. so I'll just put a navigation link so that's the footer section one for section two and now we have footer three four five six I guess okay let me check so this is for one for two for three four five okay let me check which one are the where mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the footer three section. Okay, footer for a four section, and that's the footer five. So I'll leave the default. So that's the footer six section. So we can have a search bar. So that's the footer six section. Generally, that's the copyright section. So I think in a, instead of so they are placing a menu. So that's also a great way to place footer menu instead of having custom footer menu. So I'll just skip it and add a custom menu. So that looks great. Uh, there is something is missing. Maybe something is not working. Oh, I need to go to the menus. Okay, everything's fine. Let's save. Oh, maybe we can create a new menu. Call it future menu.
and we can change uh, widgets and in the desktop menu we can have footer menu okay that looks cool now it's fine that's great okay now we have we already changed the input setting now we have a custom CSS and I think that's pretty decent demo so so I think I need to work on this one okay call to us maybe and I need to decrease the text so yeah that's that's fine okay 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 that's really great and it's really working I'll just save the customization mm, so we did a pretty <laughs> great work till now mm, okay uh, I just need to do some final changes like this is the image okay that's the image okay it's the image so I can create a new post with service one service one some content okay I'll just use that image from the desktop and I'll publish it and let me change this one the service section instead of this and use okay maybe I need to reload this okay now I can see the service section okay service one now I have the icons and the service one and the links right here okay that's great you know, so you can you know, put icons similarly in the rest of the services okay so now things look pretty great and I think the theme author has put on a lot of works to do the tasks so I think you know it's really you know, deserve a rating of 4 to 5 so that would be great so I'll review it and to be in you know, of ratings to be full so I'll do this later so uh, that's it so fine have a nice day okay so we did a, did a pretty decent work so you can see the final demo here okay everything goes fine that's it okay that's it thank you